Hello everyone. Special thank you to Mark and Dedito Guam. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm not a specialist in geography. I'm what uh, geographers call stupido in uh, I don't know how to pronounce Dedito. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, freeprescriptionlenses.com. I barely pronounced that right. Where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. <clears throat> I am the hardest working optician in the industry, which has made me the most famous on YouTube. My name is Seymour Better, but call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm have you seen Mo Better look and Mo Better and show everyone else how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses. When I show you Mark's, this is the American Optical, the original pilot in gold. He's got the 55 eye size with the bayonet temples. I'll get to that, but this is the packaging that it comes to. A true original since 1933, American Optical. You get a really cool soft fold-over case. And, oh, I wish there were smell-o-vision. The leather smells so good in this case. Mark, when you open up the box, smell this. It smells, in fact, when you open the box, you're going to smell it. Because it smells so good, you get the original demo lenses. I'm getting to the frame. I am. But the coolest, one of the coolest things about American Optical, apart from being one of the oldest frame companies in America, is the cleaning cloth that comes with the frame. It has the schematic blueprints detailing all the unique points of interest on the frame. Now, if I can only fold this back up to the way it's supposed to be, ta-da! I can't do that with the map. Why does geography keep coming in there? Now, math counts, geology rocks, but geography is where it's at. <laughs> all right, I'll shut up. By the way, you get the even card from uh, American Optical in many languages with... Because uh, what's junk mail in one language when you can have it in many? But this is it. By the way, Mark's getting non-prescription Essilor Transitions Extra Active Brown Lenses with the gold flash mirror. It comes with its own proprietary back surface anti-glare coating, so none needs to be added. But that's right, he and Mark got a pair of Oakleys back in the end of March. He's getting a second pair from me almost two months later is the end of May. And uh, of course this is early June when I'm doing this, but that's when he had actually ordered and I'm shipping these. But someone's got to be the toughest mofo out there, so it might as well be Mark. He's getting, yeah, the American Optical Pilot Bayonet Temples. You can also get this with the traditional Curved Down Temple, the Spatula Temple as it's called and very unique styling almost like the new top gun movie style frame but uh, this was designed for the original american optical pilots so they could slide this on without having to take their helmet on and off for a curved spatula type of uh of temple so but that's it without further ado let me show you how these things cool how cool they look when they're activated so i'm exposed them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light now as you can see it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for the lenses to darken a little bit longer when you come back inside 45 seconds to a minute minute 15. now mark and everyone else pay attention all photochromic lenses get dark on day one and will continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks they're exposed to the sun after that they will work for years at maximum performance the only time they won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day, and that's why they don't turn dark in a car. Now, having said that, look at that. Now you can see that green mirror. When Mark looks out, he's going to see the extra active brown. When people look at him, they're going to see that green mirror. Let me see if I can get a darker background so you can really see that mirror nicely. Now, the other thing about photochromic lenses, they're temperature sensitive, meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone, when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable, nobody or nothing works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. We all work much better when it cools off. Now, having said that, these transitions, extra active gray or brown, as you see here, are designed for extra active people who spend extra amounts of time outside and will get darker in hotter weather. But you know, in Guam, what's the chance of it ever getting above 80 degrees there in Guam? Yeah, probably pretty high every day. So, but as I mentioned, they don't work perfectly in a car. However, the Transitions Extra Active Gray and Brown or the Zeiss Photofusion Extra Gray will get 30 to 50% dark behind a windshield. 
The other thing, let's see if you can see the anti-glare coating on the back surface now. There is a greenish hue to that. Essilor will not tell me what anti-glare coating they put on the back surface of these flash mirrors, but there is an anti-glare coating, so no additional coatings need to be done. You can see as this is starting to lighten, it's starting to lose that green mirror effect. And but yeah, so these will get 30 to 50% dark behind a windshield. The other nice thing is that photochromic lenses were the original blue blocking lenses for before there were any of the computers, cell phones, any of that. So now that the studies have shown that this is can be beneficial for you, these can block 50 to 70% of the harmful blue light emitted from today's electronic devices. As I was saying, such so as cell phones, tablets, computer screens, and such. But that's it. If you have any questions, go to the Contact Us page of the website. Um, you can email us directly at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com. If you want to talk to a live person, call Jigsaw, my web developer, at 919-491-2411. He answers the phone. I answer the text messages. So that's it. You can also leave a question or comment in the comments section below. But Mark and Dedito, Dededo, Guam, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Thank you so much for your second purchase within a couple months this time. First, it was the Oakleys. Now, it's the American Optical Pilot in gold. This frame comes in three colors and two sizes. I'll have a link in the description below to anyone who wants it. He got the Essilor Transitions Extra Active Brown with the green flash mirror. You can get the Extra Active Gray or Brown with silver, gold, green, blue, or red, or even pink flash mirror. Zeiss just does the extra active gray with silver, gold, green, blue, and red. Now the nice thing about Zeiss, you can get it on the regular Photofusion gray, brown, green, and blue. You don't have to get the extra active lenses to get the flash mirror. From Essilor, you do. I know that's confusing, but if you go to the website or call Jigsaw, we'll walk you through how to order. So, but Mark, yeah, thanks for the purchase of this frame. Really cool styling on here. Again, a true classic since 1933. By the way, same year that, uh, I'm sorry, 1833, 1833, my Pittsburgh Steelers were formed in 1933. But yeah, this was the very first um, American frame company and they're still in existence. But yeah, thanks for your purchase. I'll get these in the mail to you. Hopefully it won't take long to get there. Thanks for what you do to, you serve in our military there in Guam. So thanks for all that you do. Thanks for your purchase. Thanks for your patience on how long it's going to take for international shipping to get to you. But these will be well worth it. And again, someone's got to be the baddest mofo out there. Why not be Mark to wear these in non-prescription? How cool is it going to be for him to rock these things? So again, thanks for watching. Remember to click on the link above to go to the website. And now hopefully everyone else has gotten a chance to see how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses. Thank you.